Did you know that you could be making money off of your B-roll footage? In this video, we're talking about some different ways that you can take your B-roll footage, make some extra cash, and I'm not doing this alone. I'm actually bringing one of my buddies on who has found success in this method, and he discovered it through one of my videos. If you're new here to this channel, my name is Jevin Dovey and I do filmmaking tutorials, product reviews, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss one of these videos. Now what we're talking about today is selling your B-roll footage as stock footage. Now if you've never heard of stock footage before, essentially what it is is you're cutting up your footage into individual shots and they can sell anywhere from $20 to $30 all the way up to $100 or $200 depending on the resolution you're shooting and depending on the content that you're shooting. So we're gonna dive a little bit into this, a little bit into some ideas around stock footage, but this is such an awesome way to bring in some additional income off the footage that you're already shooting. If you're here on YouTube and you're shooting B-roll in any form, you can sell that as stock. The website that I sell all my stock through is Blackbox. So Blackbox is a company that basically allows you to to upload all your footage and then they distribute it among stock footage agencies. And what happens is these stock footage agencies will then sell your clips to people who need a shot of whatever this B-roll is. And you'd be surprised, people will buy almost anything out there. We're in the age of online video and there's just so much need for stock footage out there because it's so much cheaper to go to a stock footage site purchase a clip than it is to send a film crew and actually go and get that shot. Now, I actually just got my hat from Black Box. It's a new addition to the arsenal of hats that I have because Black Box is something that I truly believe in. It's an awesome site, which is basically helping creators find a new stream of revenue through stock footage, and it's making the process so much easier. So before Black Box, what you had to do was to go to each stock footage site independently and then upload the footage directly to that. And it was a time-consuming process to do it on each of these sites. With Black Box, you upload once, they distribute, you move on, focus on shooting more content rather than focusing on upload process and all the stuff that takes a lot of time. Now my buddy Tristan discovered stock footage from one of my videos a few months ago and he's been slowly just chipping away and putting more and more footage on his portfolio of stock footage clips. Now he didn't really make a whole lot of money at first, but recently he's gotten to the point where he's making over $900 a month. So guys, let me introduce you to Tristan and he wants to tell you about his story when it comes to stock footage. Hey Jevin, so I've been filming for about 10 years and I've noticed I collected a bunch of hard drives and a bunch of content and so I was always wondering what to do with all this content I was filming. So I came across your video on YouTube about black box and realized that I can start making passive income with all this footage. And so what I did was I uploaded a few clips and noticed some sales start to pick up and so I worked harder at mining that data that's on those hard drives cutting up my clips and posting them. And it's been really good in the last couple of months. I was able to get some more gear and put that all back into uh, the filming process. So that's why I shoot stock. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, well, how do I get started in this? What do I do? Well, the first thing you gotta do is just get set up on black box. That's super easy. And then what you gotta do is cut down your footage into individual shots, five seconds to 60 seconds long, and they have to be a single shot that has a single focus. So you don't wanna have a bunch of edits, it's individual clips. And here's a cool thing, if you're shooting 4K footage, 4K stock sells for much more than 1080p stock. Now the majority of stock footage that's selling right now is 1080p, however, if you're shooting 4K, you should put your footage up as 4K because there's more opportunity for you to sell that footage. And as the industry changes and there's more demand for 4K footage, you're gonna start seeing more sales on your 4K footage. So let's hear from Tristan on what is selling in his portfolio and what's working for him. So basically, the kind of stock that I shoot, I shoot a lot of landscapes and a lot of time lapses. Also, my wife likes to cook, so I'm often in the kitchen with her getting macro photography, watching her do the nice things that she does in the kitchen. So I spend a lot of time doing those two things mostly. And uh, they've had good, really good sales. I've had some uh, big sales with those, and I think that's what I'll continue to do. Pretty much anything I like to look at for more than two seconds I'm filming, so anything can sell in the stock world. That's what I'm focusing on, anything and everything. So I hope this gets you excited about stock footage and the potential of stock footage because there is so much opportunity, especially if you're already creating content. If you're shooting B-roll, you might as well cut that up into individual shots 
and then put it up on black box to get sold on these stock footage agencies. Guys, I'll put a playlist down in the description to all of my stock footage videos. I have beginner's guides on how to get started on stock footage, and I also have a beginner's guide on how to get started on black box so you guys can get up and running quick and start selling your footage as soon as you figure out the entire process. So I highly suggest going down in the description and checking out those videos. Also, I wanna thank Tristan for helping me out with this video. Highly suggest you go check out his channel. And guys, that's it. I'll see you on the next one.